So the aircraft that we have uh, is, is U.S. registered. Uh, it is both what we call Part 91 and 135 FAA uh, approved, which means in, in Part 91 under the Federal Aviation Regulations, uh, those, are, those regulations govern private aircraft use for private purposes, uh, a private flight department, uh, a private owner, and so forth. The FAR 135 regime is designed for uh, charter, on-demand charter services. And just to complete the picture, uh, commercial carriers are Part 121. They're governed by a different standard. Part 135 is a higher standard and has different requirements to be met, certainly by pilots and by the aircraft itself. For example, it, for an aircraft to be 135 compliant, it needs to have be fire rated. All of all of the interior fabrics and furnishings need to be fire tested, destructive tested, and there's a there's a very high level of requirements that must be meet, met in order for it to qualify for that um, that part. Um, we decided to pay more money uh, in order to have it uh, FAA 135 compliant, and that then allows us the flexibility to put it out for charter through the management company. All of that, all of that's taken care of for us to be able to fly these medevac flights or or in transplant or for on demand charter or whatever is appropriate. Uh, when I'm flying it for my personal use or somebody from my company's flying it then it's flowing on a, one, a 91 designation and, um, and as such, it, it goes under the other regime. It's kind of a complicated way of saying that we wanted to have the flexibility of being able to offer it out for, for those others who might have a need when we're not using it.